Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and thank you for stopping by the house tonight. Thank you for stopping by the house tonight, okay? We're going to be quick, fast, in a hurry with this particular video. We're going to get straight to the point, all right? Thank you, Portia. Thank you so much for showcasing a wonderful Easter for the three kids that you had there, okay? And one of those three kids is your own, your one and only by Dennis McKinley. So, I love the aesthetics. I love, you didn't decorate, but you know, you had the eggs out there. The kids looked like they were having fun. PJ looked like she outran them all. I don't have my pictures that I had on it, um, had on the show yesterday. Because I delete every time I make a video, I just delete all the pictures. So, I won't have so much space being held up with photos on my computer. Okay, but I want to thank you, Borsha. I want to thank you. I want to, I want to, I want to thank you. And my amazing, frankly, Beverly voice. Okay, PJ Hell was superb. That is all that baby girl's hair. I need you to stop laying down them edges because then she might not have no edges. Okay, stop putting gel and shit on that girl hair. All right, but I want to talk about, let me get off that and get on this. You know, it's a beautiful scene. I know everybody love it. It's romantic, this, that, and third. But I'm going to need you to put some gates up there with that little pool you got on there. Because it could be hazardous. The kids could sneak out when y'all don't even know that they're out. And an accident such as an accidental drowning may affect, you know, the situation. So, I, I think y'all need to gate that up. You know, I, I don't know how you going to make it look pretty. Because I know it's all about the aesthetics and the optics for you all. But I'd rather have something gated up. Then poor PJ or any of the other kids, you know, they might hit their head, they plan, they might slip, and they, you know, they might be good swimmers, but if they're unconscious, they can drown. You see what I'm saying? So I was thinking about that. When I was looking at it, I said, mm, I ain't going to talk about it. But now that I see it in fluorescent lights, pastel colors, I guess you're giving us that Easter scene, Simon. Uh, but yeah, if the babies are going to be over there, y'all not going to be watching them like hawks. You know what I'm saying? You need to, uh, fence that up. I'm just saying. Because it kind of disturbs me when I see water and I see kids playing around water and I see adults not really paying attention. You know what I'm saying? They're in their own little world instead of the third and then they may forget and then an accident will happen and then we all be, you know, saying prayers and, you know, be accusing you know, the family members or who who wasn't watching the kids this then and third. And we don't need none of the kids to go out that way. So take note and uh get that straightened out. But anyway, we're gonna talk about Father Time. Yes, Father Time is right at it again. Yes he is. Okay, he is showcasing himself. Him his what is it? Him, he, he is all about him. Okay. He taking pictures of the outside of the house, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> was he high was he high Portia we wants to know why is your boyfriend out there taking pictures in the dog of a house setting don't know what was on his mind maybe he was filming and he forgot to stop the recording or whatnot but yes he got pictures of y'all house at nighttime go figure now Portia I'm going to say, you know, I don't know if Simon is bisexual or if he just loves looking at younger people do their thing. Okay. Because it's just me. I'm on the outside looking in. And when he posts shit and it don't make sense, I had to come and tell my family. I got to have a conversation with my family. And we always seem to come back to your glorified boyfriend. He got too much time on his hands, Lord. He tries to be the adamant golfer. He tries to be the adamant is CEO executive and he's just giving us pretty much nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. 
nothing but a lot of chickles and a lot of ha-has and kikis, okay? But I'm okay with it. If that's what he want to do, he look like a little alien, don't he? I don't know if the, the, the lighting got him wrong, but he look like he a reptilian with that green, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, optics that we're looking at on the side of his face. We don't know. It could just be fluorescent light. <sighs> but I hope he's not a reptilian. I really hope he's not a reptilian. Okay? But anyway, we don't know what Simon Gabadia's uh, pastime is as far as, his, as far as his income level. We don't really care at this point because he's just really... We, we we got for the chuckles and the giggles and the ha-ha's right now. We're not even taking him serious because he's not taking himself serious. So, why get upset about what Simon's really doing out here, okay? When we can just make commentary on it and just laugh our asses off, okay? But Simon is over there uh, looking at TV. I guess on the outside, I'm not quite sure, okay? Because he must dismiss the kids when, you know... He must have put the kids out or put them to bed. I don't know. It might be 2 in the morning. It might be 4. But Simon is looking at Davidu video. Okay. Y'all remember the uh, Liberian or uh, Nigerian uh, musician or uh, rapper uh, whose father is a billionaire. He just comes from money. Okay. Money just drips from him. Why is Simon looking at a video? And he was also playing Drake's music. That rapper Drake uh, Elevate. Like, Simon, I thought you were there, baby. How, how much elevation you want? You, you, you say you got a billion dollars. You're worth a billion dollars. You have several companies. You have this house that you don't show us anything but the downstairs. We don't know what the kitchen look like. We don't know what the bathrooms look like. We don't even know what the bedrooms look like. Okay? Or the nanny or, uh, bar, not bartender, but maid or, uh, we call it guest manager of the house, the house man. We don't know where their quarters located either. We just been seeing your expensive cars that you've seen from what my family see. You babysit, okay? We seen the garage. We seen the cars. We seen the outside with the floor of the uh, what do you call it? The landscaping. We see you playing golf. We seen you in the jacuzzi, and now we seeing you looking at the video. Um, um, uh, I guess he's rapping. And, and you're looking at the video. I'm like, what attracts you to this man, Simon? I mean, I've never seen another man look at another man unless it was like sports being played. You see what I'm saying? But not looking at a rapper's video. And you're smiling about it. I mean, Portia, should we be worried, baby? I mean, he's already old. We, that's why we call him Father Time. We call him Papa Smurf. We call him the not it factor. Okay, however you want to see him. But I see him as father time. And I'm trying to see. Why is he trending? Now just a few hours ago. He was breaking out $100 bills. Okay. $100, $100 bills y'all. For Easter egg hunting and playing. And trying to get the two golden eggs. Okay. He was itching out Ben Franklin. Like it was going out of style. And I wish I was there to get a couple of those. And go on my merry way. Alright. But well, I want y'all to go on over there to the Make It Make Sense channel. Over there, my other channel. Some of you have went, but I know a lot more of y'all need to go. Okay, so y'all go on over there and help your sister over there. Aunt, cousin, grandmama, mama, however y'all look at me. Okay, go on over there to the other channel. I'm cutting up over there too. Uh, but anyway, I haven't found my rhythm there yet, but I'm getting there. But yeah, because I don't want Dennis to be on y'all asses. I really don't because he look like he'll come down hard for his only baby girl. So I need y'all to tighten up on that pool situation, all right? Just put some little fences around where they little hands can't clam over or whatever. Put it 10 feet high. I, I don't know what you need to do, but you need to secure that because that's not a good look when you got kids around. And and, and for all the time, you might slip and hit your head. You want, you're a seasoned person. You ain't no young spring chicken running around now. You might need to do due diligence on yourself and get some, um, what do you call Because you always out there sunbathing or, or night bathing. I don't know what the hell you be doing over there in that jacuzzi. You you know what I'm saying? I don't think I know you smoking and drinking. And we don't know when and where you may have had too much. And then portion and baby girl got to find you. Because you don't slip up, bump your head. And it's oozing with blood. And you, it, it, what do you call it? In the jacuzzi. Drowning. You know what I'm saying? So make it 
uh senior proof not baby proof but senior proof since you and Portia seem like you're the only ones there half of the time and you invite people over such as pj and your kids when you feel like playing house and you feel like playing the father role okay but i need you to tighten up simon get some uh uh Fences around this shit, okay? That pool is not safe, okay? Not even safe for you, and you're a senior citizen. So we need to look out for you, even though you ain't looking out for yourself. I'm just making pointers for you. Put some guards up there in place because you could slip easily too, and nobody's not around, and you step down dry. You see what I'm saying? And I don't know if you even got Portia on any of your financial situations because we know y'all not married and shacking up just ain't gonna do it in georgia they've been out loud that shacking up or we call it common law marriage that that, that shit's for the birds it's gone okay they 86 that idea about maybe 10 or 12 years ago so we don't have common law marriages we don't recognize shacking up you got to be on somebody's property last will and testament okay if you must you got a wheel it's portia in it it's PJ in it. Let her sister know. Because if you run around now drinking, smoking, getting high as hell, taking pictures of the, uh, the house on the outside, don't know why, okay? You just do er everything arbitrarily. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it cracks me up. It cracks me up, Simon. I be looking on your Instagram just to see where I can get a laugh and a kiki before I say, oh, I just need to do a story on that. Because it seems like he wants some attention. So I'm giving it to you, Simon. I'm giving it to you. Because like I said, you make me laugh, brother. You make me laugh. Because you and them cars taking a picture of the inside of the house where we don't really care about it because you don't we don't see you in there we don't see no nigerian brother that lives there we see a european person that may live there mediterranean type southwestern field here and there but we don't see a liberian african man living up in there okay i don't know if you don't want to touch the walls because you plan on selling the house in a couple of years you don't want to damage anything but portia y'all supposed to be looking at some lawn furniture but it seems like on easter sunday when we was over there peeking in the window through the fences and shit you had enough lawn furniture so I don't know where Portia was going on with that particular idea or situation. But we wasn't buying the shit. Okay. So that's what I'm going to need you to do. I need you to gate up that shit. Okay. Because it's pretty. But it could be hazardous at the same damn time. Okay. So get that straightened out. Because I don't want to see Dennis on your ass about something that happened to his daughter or almost happened to his daughter. Okay. It wouldn't be a good look. Okay, he'll be on your ass like white on rice. All right, like ketchup to the mustard on a hamburger sandwich. All right, so Portia, get it together because Father Time act like he done lost his mind. He, he, he just put up with the kids here and there, but you're a full-time mama. You know what that details. So you got to always think safety first, safety, safety, safety first. And with Father Time, it's like he, you're going to be his caregiver. So while he ain't thinking, we need you to be thinking, okay? Safety first, safety first, safety first. Uh, get a hold of that first aid kit because he gonna be needing to get bandaged up okay because the only thing he's thinking about is that damn cigar that brown liquor and his jacuzzi okay and he's set in heaven now why he's sitting over there looking at the video's video taking pictures of the outside of the house when ain't nobody out there and it's dark as hell I don't know what's going on with him, Portia. You might need to see a physician or something for his comings and goings and what he do when you're not available. Okay? We need you to be proofreading everything he sent out there in post. Okay? Because everything just ain't kosher with him. And it gives us pause to wonder what the hell you are and why is he doing this and that and the third. And you don't even know anything about it. Okay? Because we're going to come to your doorstep, Portia. We're going to come to Simon because he's middle-aged. You know what I'm saying? Well, hell, he ain't even really middle-aged. He got one foot in the graveyard and one on a banana peel. I'm just saying. That's how he living his life back like now. You never know. You just never know. So we want you to do your due diligence with your child as well as your grown-ass senior citizen's child. Okay? Because that's what you got, baby. That's what you got.
All right, but that's all I have for this video. You know I'll be back next with another one. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, share, and like my videos. And please go over there to the other channel. I think I'm up to 40 people now. I think it's 37 or 40 when I last checked. So y'all are making it do what it do, but I need y'all to do a little bit better. Okay? I'm just saying. Peace out.